How's it going guys? This is Twister and today I'm back with another GTA Online video fully upgrading some more of the DLC cars that came with the Executives and other Criminals DLC and this one I'm fully upgrading the Bravado Verlier. I think that's how you pronounce this car's name. Uh, so this one is a really nice car, it's a sports car and I think it's based off an old TVR model so these cars in real life came with some really wicked multicolored paint jobs like blue and red and purple so that's what I'm going to try and replicate here again hope you guys enjoyed the intro I've been switching it up between doing live and then sort of like cinematic videos for these showcases so I hope you've enjoyed uh, the bit of vary in these videos but as you can see we've got the really nice paint job going I've tried to replicate it as best I can obviously it's not going to be exact you can't get the exact colors with the uh, with the in-game person but I think it's looking cool nonetheless so this car costs 600 and 95k I do believe so it's again similar to the nightshade it's almost a million uh, once you've bought it and done all the fully upgraded mods such as engine upgrade and the race brakes armor all that good stuff it comes to almost a million when you when you do fully upgrade it so being a sports car this car is quite unique in terms of all the other sports cars we've had we haven't really had a car that looks similar to this only off the top of my head I'm thinking of kind of like the fusillade that's the only cars I can really think that looks similar to this and you have got a good range of modification options when you take it into the Los Santos Customs I've just taken it down to the beach to showcase it now uh, you can kind of see the paint job pretty well in the in the sunlight right now I've gone for a I think it was dark blue and then a hot pink pearlescent to try and get that purple red effect I'm pretty sure you guys could do it better if you guys really wanted but I think it looks quite good for now I've also thrown some black rims on there. I think the black rims look cool. And something really unique that you can do on this vehicle, I don't think you can do on any other car in the game, you can colour the brake discs on the car. So I've gone for some blue brake discs, which look quite cool. I really do like that touch, and I wish we could have that as a standard modification on all the vehicles as well. Uh, other modifications include vented hood. I've gone for a smaller spoiler. You can get a huge GT wing spoiler, but I didn't want to do that. I wanted to go for a smaller spoiler. And uh, there's a lot of bumper upgrades as well. Uh, for the front bumper, I've just gone for a standard like sport bumper. You can get like a GT bumper as well. The engine looks really cool. You've got the really nice chrome detail and the actual paint color in the engine, which looks really, really cool. As you can see, once I've uh, popped open all the doors, it looks pretty, pretty cool. I'll especially that engine. I think that engine is one of the coolest things about it. Other than that, you've just got standard skirt upgrades. You've also got some quad chrome exhaust looking nice at the rear. So overall, once again, this is a really, really nice car. It's definitely one of the most unique sports cars in the game in terms of styling. So if you want to buy it for that reason alone, I definitely would recommend it. In terms of performance now, this car is blindingly fast in a straight line. It is absolutely crazily fast. It's not too brilliant in terms of cornering. It handles really strangely. Again, it's kind of hard to get used to how this, how this uh, car handles. But once you get onto a straight line, it is so, so damn quick getting up to that top speed. In the gameplay, you'll actually be able to see that I try and do some uh, drifts around the corners, but it is quite hard to drift because it just feels really agile and really snappy and responsive. So it is quite hard to drift this car. And that pretty much wraps up this video, the, the fully upgraded Bravado Valera and Showcase. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave it a like rating and subscribe to the channel if you are new and you want to stay up to date with my future videos. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll hopefully see you all in my next one. See you later guys.